Well, after weeks of battling it out in Johannesburg, Durban and Cape Town, the top 12 national finalists of the next brand ambassador have been chosen. These 12 contestants from all over South Africa are some of the country's top young aspiring marketers. Now, the stage is set for three of them to become the next brand ambassador. Can you believe it? It's three now. Let's meet the first six contestants from Johannesburg. On the next episode of The Next Brand Ambassador, things kick up a notch as the top 12 get their first challenge working for a real brand. Things are about to get serious now. Right about now, I'm going to actually ask who's got issues. Kanye comes in, guns blazing. Do, 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 do. What is happening? Kanye should be coming in your heart. Honey, I told you so. As always, Tanil has something to say. Bye-bye. That's The Next Brand Ambassador, Thursday at 7.30 p.m. on SABC3. Proudly brought to you by Capitec. So if you've got any questions for the contestants, please do leave a comment and don't forget to use the hashtag Afternoon Express. Well, welcome to the show, guys. Hello. Hello. How amazing Thanks. to have you here. Thank and you. how happy are you that Joe Berg has just done so well? Oh, <laughs> <very happy>. <laughs> <laughs> there must be something in the water or what? <laughs> it, it definitely is to the climate of Johannesburg. It's mm. fast paced, there's a lot of pressure. <laughs> exactly. You know, so we very kind of had to... <laughs> We're competitive people. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Well, listen, there is something about Joe Berg. I grew up in Joburg and I live in Cape Town and I said you know to, to survive in Cape Town you need a Joburg work ethic. Mm -hmm. So Joburg work true. ethic is absolutely magic. What happened though with one of the first challenges that you had to do? The flash mob. Flash mob. It, uh, it was a flash whoa. but there was definitely no, no, mob. Mob. no mob. No mob. No mob. No mob. No mob. No mob. There was no one. <laughs> Literally no one. Yeah. Where's everybody at shopping centres during the day in Joburg? Clearly not shopping. <laughs> Clearly not shopping. Yeah, really Clearly not. yeah. So take us through what happened that day. Well, what happened is we got there uh, in the morning. I don't think Joe Biggs shop in the morning regularly. Yeah. So uh, there was no action except us, and we had to like improvise by having yeah. the guys from the restaurants to come support <laughs> and, and just to cause a bit of commotion. Yeah. But it was yeah. bad. It's, it's it was awkward. It was a day. It was a bad day. How have you found the challenges? Quite difficult, or are you learning something from it? Definitely we, learning. We're learning every day yeah. because some, yeah. in life you need to unlearn to learn. Mm. And yeah. I think that's the beauty yes. of us just being young marketers, yes. yeah. you know, yes. getting inspired, you know, because of change. We're we all about transformation. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Now, how how do you feel about being brought back as a wild card? <laughs> <laughs> I feel great. I feel great. It's yeah. another opportunity for me to actually showcase myself. So I'm coming back with the whole new energy of actually bringing it this time. Yeah. So yeah, I'm happy. Yeah. But I mean, it's, 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 now you've got to prove yourself. because yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's, I feel like there's way more pressure now because it's like, okay, you were brought back, so it's yeah. time to show us what you have. Yeah. So, yeah. Now, I mean, I love a good tagline. <laughs> tell, us about, <laughs> <laughs> tell us about how calm your farm happened. Because now, if I hear calm your farm one more time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> when I get very passionate about things, things just kind of spew out of me. <laughs> and they kind of just come out. Like, I guess maybe watching too many series and witty yeah. people. And musical. And musical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just calm your out. farm. Let's calm have a look farm. at this. <laughs> For me, the project was not a huge success. Who did not pull their weight? It all boils down to the project coordinator. I had the balls, actually, to say that, yes, I after that. Can I just stop you there? Like, I appreciate you trying to take, exactly. you know, I appreciate you trying to take all of the blame, but you cannot take that all on yourself. Exactly. Whoa. Like, you're not the sacrificial lamb of this group. Just calm your farm. Yeah. We were all in this together. Oh, <laughs> boy, the drama. <laughs> I, I thought that you were going to appreciate, the, uh, you know, the, the sacrificial lamb. No. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Because I feel like there comes a time when there's group effort and then yeah. everyone also needs to take accountability. Okay. And at that That's point, true. I suppose everyone needs to take accountability. And, yeah. But there was just too much accountability being taken. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now tell me something. The judges are amazing. Odette's hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very hardcore. Very hardcore. Is it quite Nothing. threatening? Is it quite challenging? 
I would say that it's quite challenging, not threatening mm. in a way, because uh, we came to learn, and she's been in the mm. industry for so exactly. many years, more than us. We're yeah. still young, yeah. sure. we still want to grab whatever that we need to grab in order to yeah. be at her level. And I find her very, you know, quite very intimidating, yes, because yeah. she's in that high level, <laughs> but uh, we love everything you know yeah. that she has taught us throughout yeah. these challenges yeah. she, she also makes you want to up your game mm. every yeah time. Same. Same. yeah, yeah. Now, I want to ask the two of you ladies a question as well, yes. because, I mean, everybody in this competition are such big personalities. How is it having to work with them and then having to live with them as well in a <laughs> fabulous new house? <laughs> I mean, I don't know about Shardell over here, but for myself, the living with other people was a bit of an extra yeah. challenge. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm constantly aware of what... Uh, personality traits I'm projecting yeah. and which ones I'm just saving for the relevant moments in the competition. Ah, yeah. yeah, definitely. Ah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> especially at work, you go into that creative space. But I'm quite enjoying having those crazy characters <laughs> back at the house as well. It seems to generate a bit more of creativity. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's difficult to establish friendships when you, because I mean, you live with each other, so you yeah. naturally want to make friends and mm -hmm. socialize, mm -hmm. but then it's a competition at the end of the day. So yeah. how does that affect the dynamics in the home? Honestly, it does. I must be honest, I think, yeah. with everyone. Because we go through so many emotions. Yeah. The one week yeah. you guys are friends, the next yes. day you have yeah. to go through yeah. the elimination. So it's been quite a challenge and yeah. a bit of spiciness or backstory. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of soy. A little bit of soy. Yeah. I must say for the ladies. So, yeah, definitely challenging. I've been a judge on a few reality shows and I must tell you, what, and what the audience often doesn't realise and pick up on is you go through a full spectrum of emotions in one day. Mm -hmm. Like in real life, when something will take a month, it happens like a day and a half yeah. yes. in reality TV time. So it is quite intense. Mm -hmm. Have you have you made any amazing relationships so far that'll I, last, or is it all just cutthroat, backstabbing all the time? Ooh. I think I it's think, been organic working relationships. Yeah. 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 I don't think we're at a part. Well, for myself, I don't think we're at a part mm -hmm. where we're that personal. Yeah. No. But I think in terms of our skills and our talent mm -hmm. and what we bring to the show, there's some nice relationships that have started mm -hmm. to kind of blossom. Yeah. Yeah. What's been the most important? lesson learned so far? I think for me, the ability to listen. I think the more you listen to all these amazing professionals, I've learned so much from yeah. these people. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really, it's great. So for me, ability to listen. I think it's more of a team spirit. Yeah. 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 Uh, learning. Yeah. 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 Do you guys have an idea of who your biggest competitors are yet? <laughs> Definitely. A little bit, yes. Uh, I don't see any competition. There's a pressure cooker and yeah. it's cooking. <laughs> yeah, I can definitely see. Well, guys, keep it cooking with gas because we're absolutely loving watching you. Cool. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> Woo, our cool set tough. But Joburg, we see you representing, of course, coming through with the talents. And we've asked you on our socials if you've got any questions for the next brand ambassador contestants. We've got Moseswa Goodness, who says, quite an unbelievable journey. But I want to know how they're feeling. And now that they've made it this far, I mean, starting from the videos that you guys uploaded, now being at this unbelievable point, how do you guys feel? Do we have a class captain? We are feeling so excited. Uh, we've never thought that in our lives we'll actually be chosen as the next top 12 brand ambassadors, next mm, brand ambassadors. Amazing. And it took actually thousands and thousands of people, hopefuls, wanting to be where we are today. So for me and all of us, it's, it's a very great experience indeed. Mm. And yeah, we're just going to keep con continuing to bring it on on the yeah, competition.